Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force here with some more Heroes of the Storm gameplay. Today I will be playing as Abathur, and I'm going to show you the Mastermind build. Abathur is such a different playing hero from pretty much anyone else in Heroes of the Storm. Uh, you're constantly scouting the map everywhere. You're basically doing stuff in all three lanes and trying to be present for all team fights throughout the entire game. It's honestly, it's like a bunch more tasking than I feel like any of the other heroes are to play. Maybe at least until we get the Lost Vikings. Alright, I'm gonna sneak up here real quick. Drop down some of my little locust mines. Grab the tower and then swing on back here to safety. And I'm gonna make sure I need to queue anyone up. Yeah, let's grab this guy. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do pop in my symbiosis on teammates whenever they appear to be in trouble. Come on, Rainer, make it out of there. And uh, trying to be present with my stabs, and uh, I've got an area of effect attack as well. And then also placing these bad boys on the ground to uh, spot enemies to get a little bit of extra damage down. And then also just being in the lanes. So like now I'm in bottom lane, so I'm getting XP bottom lane while I was just there helping those guys. That's one of the really cool things about Abathur. He's one of the split pushers in this game. Uh, much like Asmodon is, for example, able to sort of be present either physically or with minions in multiple lanes. And then I have the benefit of these mines as well. Oh, he knows I'm here, but I'm going to really get out of here. Yeah, let's see if we can save Gazlo. And the other cool thing, too, is that the, uh, the like, the stab damage and everything. Fucking mom, what? <laughs> Taronda? Uh, the stab damage is actually pretty decent. Like, we might be able to get a kill. Oh, boy, watch out, watch out. Oh, why did he stop moving? Oh, Gazlo. I, th I think Gazlo would have been fine if he hadn't stopped moving. Maybe my... Okay, Reyna. Reyna, where are you going? Why are you backing up? <laughs> Did he not see him? Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, if we didn't get that kill, that would have been super annoying just because Reyna decided to take a left instead of going towards that dude. With absolutely no health. Uh, Reyna's in a bit of trouble. Let's help him here. And uh, my so my big goal here is really to push the lanes. Uh, that's that's my primary focus. We're gonna have a little bit of a uh, focus with our talents on pumping up our locusts, and then we're gonna get the locust nest so we can summon a bunch of uh, three of them at a time. And it's got a pretty short cooldown as well, and and we're gonna be able to push lanes super hard. Uh, chances are I'll have some really high siege damage this game, but it's also crazy because. As Abathur, I can have pretty high hero damage with, you can see my stab, like, I'm constantly poking and prodding at heroes. And then, same with my ultimate, my heroic ability, letting me copy a hero uh, also adds to my hero damage. We're gonna get a uh, promote to this tier. This allows us to pump up our minions, making them actually incredibly strong, very durable, and uh, they do some nice damage as well. So, promote's a pretty cool addition to this whole lane pushing philosophy. Okay, I don't want to be here right now. Let me uh, help him out though. I don't think they see me. Yeah, he sees me. Shit. Alright, I gotta get out of here. Kind of walked right by. I don't know what the Lich King was doing. <laughs> he walked right by me. I'm pretty sure he could have... Pretty sure he could have killed me there, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, isn't I mean look at look at this like I'm constantly I'm just in this lane. I'm in that lane. I'm in <laughs> It's insane. It's it's I, I, I'd say just say it's so much more frantic than the other heroes Trying to pay attention to the coin turn-ins whenever there's a team fight trying to simultaneously push the lanes harder It's fun though. It really is are we gonna take this hard camp? No, I mean we can just push this I still have my okay. I was gonna say I still have my promoted minion up Oh, I might be able to get a kill here. Uh, very close, very close. Close, but no cigar. Oh, no, he's in trouble. Let's get some mines to save him, and... Hopefully he makes it. He's got a shield from... Oh, shit. The stun. Oh, plus a freeze, plus a grenade. GG. All right, well, let's at least try to save Bright, Bright Wing here. A couple second cooldown before I can hop back onto someone. Once you drop it, you have to wait a little bit before you can do it again. He should be fine, though. Yeah, he's good. All right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm within range to get experience when things die. So you can see that mob just died, and I got XP from it, even though I wasn't, like, physically right next to it attacking it. And I think he knows I'm here right now, so... I'm going to 
have to peace out. But we're quite fine. As long as you pay attention, it's cool because you can be pretty aggressive with your placement as Abathur, like of your character. Uh, so long as you're just keeping an eye on the minimap and where the enemy team is, you can sort of be uh, like out in the open almost. All right, next tier, I'm gonna go for the defensive with the call down of Mule. Uh, so this is going to allow me to heal up our structures after they take some damage. Whoa, Taronda, careful. Gonna allow me to heal up our structures when we take some damage. All right, Jimmy boy. No, he's got enough health. He's good. Sweet. Uh, let me put a mule up here. Oh, actually, yeah, put the mule here. I'm going to push that lane with our... I didn't need to physically be next to it to put the mule down. You can call the mule down from anywhere. But I wanted to go to mid lane so that I could also push it. What is she doing? What? Go back and engage. What? We... I think she would have been fine if she had engaged. Now he's going to get the call down. Okay, good, that stopped it. Oh, there's no one else here either. All right, well, I guess I don't blame her for not going over there. I think she should... It's going to be close. He's got a stun. She needs to get behind the minions. Okay, she's good. All right, um, now this is still going on. I can be a little too aggressive in my request for people to chase. <laughs> Just because I can be a little too aggressive in my own chasing. Now, what the Sam hell is Gazlo doing? Oh, he's just charging up a bolt. Yeah, that's good. We're going to promote that guy, push it forward. And get some of these down. I like to cover uh, in like the unseeable areas, like here, for example. It's really nice to let my team know when someone's coming up behind them or whatever. And look at this push. See, I'm in middle just for a little bit, and look at that push. Just about to take this thing down. Promoted units plus the constant swarm of our locusts uh, make for strong pushes. Uh, let's go down here, help out with this a little bit. Clear these minion waves. Where's he going? Probably maybe to turn in. Yeah, he might be going to turn in. Put another one of those down there. And uh, I'm going to pump up. Look at how durable this promoted dude is. Like, he can just take hit after hit. They are just so. They've got a bunch of HP. It's crazy, man. Promoted characters are, uh, promoted minions are really strong. I'm gonna go top lane and push that back a little bit. So this is what I try to do, and it's really, Avatar is incredibly strong on these large maps because you can use your mobility, our Z ability, to just quickly, uh, as long as you have vision, you can go from one area to another. Let's help us out. You quickly go from one area to another, which is really, really strong. They got a nice coin turn in as well. I'm gonna grab this here, actually. Put the mule down. And here's our heroic ability. So we are able to now copy someone. Now I generally save this. I still, I'm still gonna focus on doing what I'm doing now, which is being present for team or small fights, skirmishes with my Q. But if I see a big team fight going on, then I'll drop my ultimate. Otherwise, I I try to save it. Like, oh shit. Oh. Ah, uh, I think she just got hooked. Yes, she did. Oh, well. That's too bad. I managed to save Rainer. But, like, for example, I, I, cer certainly I could have used it there, but it's not like we were going to win that fight. It was still going to be 3v5, so I like to save it for when there's, like, an illegit team fight going on. And let's uh, go back and pop some of that. I can I can go I can get onto this guy, but I'm unable to promote him. It'd be awesome if you could promote your locust, but unfortunately it's not an option. All right, they've got some guys over here. Is anyone gonna try to do anything? No, we're just gonna let them do it. All right, let's push this a little more. Let me go over here. So if you wonder why I try to go closer, it's so that my locust spawn closer to the enemy base. Let's put our um, mule down here. Uh, it's so my locusts spawn closer to the enemy base so they start attacking it faster. It just basically makes your push more aggressive. Oh, we're gonna nail this guy. He's done. Yeah, there's no way. Guys, will probably didn't... Oh, actually, you know what? He's got reinforcements. Alright, now's the time. I'm gonna go ahead and copy Rainer. And I don't mind sacrificing myself. I like to just act as a buffer, if nothing else. Because I'm... Okay, so I'm dead. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't mind... Uh, like, this... 
it's not a huge deal because I was able to save them. I was able to stop them from dying. And actually, that's a, I, I kind of do that sometimes. I'm like, oh, well, these guys might be screwed if I don't provide some kind of a buffer. So now we're going to push this, going to promote these guys here. Let's see how hard we can push this top lane now. And this is happening there. This is getting pushed really hard. I'll put some, uh, put some of my W down there in a second. Just get this going here. All right, next tier talents. We are going to make it so that our locust uh, cleave and explode upon death. And this is especially effective once we get the locust nest, which will be at the uh, upcoming tier. Uh, grab this real quick. Yeah, so we're up in coin volleys. We have pushed them more than they... Actually, no, our pushes are about the same. I think we've done a little bit more damage to them than they have to us, though. Uh, still 46 seconds on my um, ultimate, so... Right. Gonna, look at this. Nice. We almost have that. We almost have that tower down. Put a couple of these down. Uh, looks like they've got a volley now. So, let's see here. These guys are fine. Uh, put a mule. Actually, shit, that was terrible placement. It's about to get bombarded. All right, let's try to push this harder here. Because he's got... Uh, okay, I've got promote up. I'll do... Oh, shit. All right, uh, let's go help this here. It's six seconds until my ultimate. And, yeah, let's go ahead and copy Rainer. And see if we can do anything here. All right. Of course, they back up as soon as they see. Come on, guys. Come with me. What do you... Come on. Get my ultimate. All right, awesome. Oh, well, I got my ultimate off. Let's see if they do any work. I wish they had pushed past the tower. If they had come with me, we would have gotten a couple of kills there, you know? Let's get this down over here. Double promote. And Gazzle's pushing. He's good here. Let's help out a little bit. Next tier, there it is. Our Locust Nest. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to try to get... I try to get as close as possible when I push when I put this down. So, we're going to go like this. And then we do our Locust. And then they push forward. I'll keep an eye on this, too. And this gets them closer to, again, pushing to the enemy base, pushing to creep waves. And the, since these guys cleave and explode, too, they just do very, very well against uh, the minion waves. See, look at that. They themselves almost tore through that entire thing. Plus, we've got two promoted guys now going to the next base. Oh, shit, he's coming close. Might have to get out of there. In fact, I think they're going to see me. All right. Well, we can. Okay, let's get out of here quick. It should be fine. Yes, we're good. <laughs> it's <was> close. <laughs> All right, good. All right, so it looks like they have that, unfortunately. Um, whatever. Uh, Gazzle is going to grab this real quick. And let's see, let's see. Bottom lane is getting pushed pretty hard. Our top lane push is, like, all the way up at their base, which is good. I'm going to sit right here. I like to sit in the middle spot so I can do my mines, like, all across the map. And let's help defend this with a mule. And promote that guy. Oh, shit, the mule's not enough. Shield wasn't enough either. Oh, well, the thing's pretty much dead now, so. And we're going to go bottom lane because it's getting pushed hard now. Let's get some of these here. One on that guy. Well, we have a promote in a couple of seconds. So we can also give this guy a shield. And we got a promote coming up too. Wait. No, just retreating. Okay. All right, let's move forward with this here a little bit. Because I want to get a mine. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. This side doesn't have a smoke screen. Okay. I was thinking of the top. The top, there's a, sm there's a little smoke screen. Oh, let's get this guy. Uh, there's a little smoke screen on the top portions of the map that I can put my stuff on. There's also a few spots in the middle, too. I'm going to drop this and then hearth back real quick because some of the enemy people might be here soon. Yeah, look at them. They just showed up. So they could have blew me up there a second ago. In fact, look at Stitches on the minimap. He was going right where I was. 
A little too close for comfort, I'd say. Let's mule this up here. And I would like to go top, so I'm gonna go like this. And then we can do our nest plus a promote. Awesome, awesome. And just to be safe, we can Hearthstone back now because we've done what we needed to do there. And we might need to help them with this fight over here. Yes, we do. Okay, let's go as Jimmy Boy. Pop the W so everyone gets a buff. It looks like we are completely dead here, though. Castle's almost dead. Ooh, we actually might get a kill. Oh, my gosh, so close. Come on. Yes, one. Nice. And, oh, he's in trouble. Nice. Come on, come on. Let's get him, too. Yeah, I don't want to pick up coins, shit. Because that's going to go to my Avatar dude. And I mean, I can turn in, but I'll do it if it's uh, necessary at some point. We seem to be, I mean, our push, look at our push compared to theirs. We are we are knocking at their keeps now. We've got all three towers. They've got two of our towers. I'm just going to sit here for the duration of this to keep these creep waves over here. Uh, they've got two of our towers. We've got all three of their towers, plus we're knocking on their front door pretty hard. All right, let me go down here, and I'm gonna do a Locust Swarm, plus help him real quick. Uh, the enemy team is only at three. I see two bottom and one top, so I'm safe right now. Uh, I help Taronda. Come on, Taronda, you got it. Actually, we might be able to kill Stitches. Stick with it, stick with it, kill Stitches. Where are you going? Oh, well. All right. Uh, let me go forward here. And just enough to drop right here. It's going to get the next creep wave as it walks forward. If it doesn't just kill those guys outright. And we're going to go up here really quick. Uh, I know Arthas is right there. But I've got a feeling that he's probably going to turn around in a minute. Because there's no reason for him to go towards this hero camp right now. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. He just turned around. Excellent. So we're going to have those guys go. We're going to promote these two. And that should push this pretty hard. Um, let's check what's going on down here. That's pushing hard. They've come down to destroy it. But, I mean, look at them. They're distracted by that while my entire team picks up the coins and everything. So, it's pretty fantastic. Well, that push was not strong enough, though. It, the night camp pretty much took care of it. Except for these two promoted guys. Look, what did I tell you? Look at how strong those promoted guys are. They're just like, whatever. There's like 14 of you attacking me. No problem. <laughs> they don't care. They do not care. Oh shit, guys though. No. My team. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright. Uh, let me go over here. I'm going to go back down over here and keep this push going. Uh, we have now officially knocked down one of their keeps. They are down to two keep now. And I'm going to push this a little bit harder because the entire enemy team is like right in front of our base. And then I can just be back here. So this is sort of what we do. I push forward. I mean, the, you know, I am trying to help my team with team fights and whatnot as well. Um, but the biggest thing is, is to have me pushing, 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 pushing because... We are just wrecking right now. Yeah, let's go here. Are they gonna come with me? I'm, I guess it's not a bad thing, but I swear my team refuses to try to chase down kills. I mean, it's not a terrible thing, because it usually means you can die. I, it, but it's fine with me as fake avatar. I've only got a set duration on this thing anyway, so I might as well get some damage off. Yeah, okay. I pretty much expected this to happen, but... I don't know, whatever. All right, they got this guy here. And we're gonna go, probably it's for the top lane push now, so it's deep tunnel over here. Oh shit. All right, well let's, uh, let's ignore that for now and get the guys beyond them. And, ooh, you guys gonna get stitches? <laughs> Why would they not finish him? Why would they not keep chasing him to finish him off? <laughs> it's so funny. He, they, they had him at like 10% health. One person just had to mount up to chase him down and they would have killed him. <laughs> uh, I mean, again, over chasing is bad, but sometimes you should chase just a little bit at least. Let's get this guy here. And come on. Nice. There's the stitches that you could have killed a minute ago. They might get him now, but we're gonna go 
push with Gazo up here. This is gonna be really nice. We got one promote available. Plus our cleave dudes. So let's toss a promote down. Oh, we're gonna have two promotes available in just a second. And I'll do this first, then I'll help Gazo. There we go, okay. And then we will help Gazo with this. No problem. Uh, we got two enemy team coming from the top though. Which we need to be wary of. They might be here any second. In fact, here comes one. I'm gonna be back real quick. Hey, you know what? Actually, let me help him with this. Come on. Yeah, Gazel's a... Uh, I probably should have copied Brightwing, actually. Gazel's really not the greatest hero to copy. Oh well. I guess at this point, I will push towards them to try to distract for the golem. Yeah, let's get my ultimate down here. Well, I guess I have nothing else that distracted for the- I really not made the best use out of my <laughs> ultimate evolution. I just- yeah, I'm well aware. Let's promote Locust, pop these, and uh, how's Tyrande doing for our hand here? She's good. She's good, so that's pushing, good. Finish that stuff off there. And now we've got the keep down. So now they're officially down to one remaining keep, which that might actually drop with these volleys here. And let's get some sight. Actually, yeah, I wanna get up here. I'm gonna start taking advantage of this little spot here. So here's another one of those nice little sneaky spots you could run to, drop your locusts, and then just peace out of there. I'm just gonna wait till Jimmy Boy vacates. Okay, so this is pushing good. They've got that, no problem. Let's put some sight over here for them. And why don't I go up here right now, actually? Because Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy Boy's at the bottom now. So look at this now. Oh my gosh. Uh, this just we're just relentless here with these pushes. Plus, we are winning the coin battle too. And we're about to get this Merc Camp. They've got a few coming, but I think the team's gonna grab that before that finishes. Before they get up here. Let me peace out real quick. And Brightwing should be fine. We keep an eye on this, though. Uh, go up here to a safe spot. Oh, yeah, good. Good, good, good. Get him. No, get him. No! Oh, damn it. Keeps getting just out of range. Come on. All right, beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's go down here now. Top our, pop our locust. We have promote in a couple of seconds too. And we do have our ultimate evolution up in case we get a team fight. This one. Let's go ahead and, okay, I guess I'm just fodder again. Jesus. I, I don't think I do anything else. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Um, Destination confirmed. I think they should be fine for retreating. They got they got one down too. Yeah, they're good over there. Just gonna pr promote that and push this back. And they are down to zero keeps. So now the catapults are pushing. Those are very good promote targets. Uh, promoting a catapult. Uh, catapults by themselves do some very significant damage. Let's get our spot up here again. Catapults by themselves do some very significant damage, and tossing a promote on it too makes makes them kind of a little bit crazier. Yeah, right, she's all set. Yeah, I think as soon as I see the two that are mid leave, I'll probably go over there. And this is actually, yeah, let's go up here right now. No one's even close to this. Drop the locust down. We got a promote in a few seconds. So I'm gonna just make sure we've got that all set. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, okay. Thought he might have kept going for it. Although he should get this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Banshees, do do your work. Oh my gosh. Okay, good, they got him. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so that's going fine. This is going fine. The top is pushing hard. We've got every single Merc camp on the map. Uh, another part of the benefits of just being, just pushing so hard for this entire game 
it's that the enemy team is on their back foot, which makes it so much easier for my, Oh, my, the freaking! I swear to God, I get pulled into the team fights instantly. Every single time I ultimate evolution, <laughs> I swear to God. All right, let me help out with this here. Yeah, well, I, I'm not gonna lie, I did not do a great job in our team fights. However, uh, I'm gonna say that I did some pretty baller pushing. We're gonna check the scoreboard at the end of the game. I wanna see what my siege damage is and stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's push with this. I'm gonna move close so we get the locust right there. They've got down. They've only got two up right now. Let's promote these two. And might peace out right now. Let's help them first. They got they got three up right now, but you can see them in their base, so they're nowhere near me. Plus he obviously needs some help with this. To Rhonda add me. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> uh, Alright, he's all set good. And, um... I might want to move here. Let's go. Well... I think here, actually. If I go there, they could spot me with a locust. That's the danger. Oh, do we have... Oh, we have a final chest push here? Yes, we do. 22 or 22. I guess that's going to do it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this uh, gameplay video, taking a look at the Mastermind Avatar. Let's copy one of these bad boys. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed taking a look at the Mastermind Avatar. He, he is a very, very fun hero. Plays so much differently from pretty much every other hero in this game, uh, but incredibly strong if played well. Oh my God! Look at that. I had top hero damage in the game. Top XP contribution in the game. Top. I guess I did all right in team fights, huh? I did some damage. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned, keep watching, and keep owning.